Hey everyone, this is Austin Schur here with We Write About Music, and today I am speaking with Grippa. She has just released a fantastic new EP called Is That Her? And I'm super excited to talk to her all about it. Grippa, I want to sincerely thank you for taking the time out of your day to do this. It means a lot. How are you? Um, I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. This is um really exciting because I've never I've never actually done this before. So like Oh, nice. Really well, it doesn't get better than this. I'll just say yeah. I'm right at the top. Oh, yeah, so, obviously. Yeah, this is where this is where you peak right here. So, <laughs> no. So you've got this new record out, and as I mentioned before we started recording, it's really good. And I'm not just blowing up your ego, but I'm probably going to in the next however many minutes. But it's totally the type of record that I enjoy. Like it's got that experimental kind of alternative dark touch, but like you, you're clearly having fun with it. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that I can't really put together because they're not my words. I want to hear from you. Like, what is this record about? Is it a series of individual stories? Is there a message? Like what's going on here? Yeah. Um. Well, first of all, I'm really glad that you love it. Um. That's the first thing, but um. Yeah, so the main the main kind of uh, reason I wrote it was it is the end of the EP as a whole. Mm -hmm. So like the EP itself goes through like every single stage of a breakup. So the end is, you know, usually someone would say, um, you know, we broke up and it's OK and whatever. And it usually ends like that kind of thing or like, I mm -hmm. hate you and whatever. But like this kind of thing, I wanted to be like it's an awful relationship and then there's problems that happen at the end um but even though there are problems they're still like together so yeah. like it's it's almost like um like how can i say it i mean it's a resolution at the end because you know they it's they they get back together and like it's resurrected the relationship right. is resurrected yeah well, it feels relatable because honestly, it could go either way, and everyone experiences right. their own either heartbreak or they get back together or whatever yeah. happens. I mean, we don't need to yeah. get too into it. Like, are you speaking from personal experience? Are these manufactured stories? Like, what's going on? Um. Well, this is all personal experience, and you know, I'm only 17, so being yeah. in high school, like, this happens a lot, and I've heard so many like songs about just people breaking up and like being upset about it. Yeah. But I've never actually for the reality of people getting back together and even though like there's those problems in that like toxic kind of environment you know you can never like stray away from that person because they're the right person you know yeah yeah I totally get it there's always going to be a connection there no matter what right yeah, yeah. There myself for sure <laughs> um another main standout obviously on this record is it just sounds great and one thing that i would recommend to anyone who's going to listen is put on a nice pair of headphones when you check this out. Like this isn't something that you listen out of your phone speakers or your computer speakers. Like there's clearly so much happening that I wouldn't want anyone to miss. So what did it look like putting this thing together on the production end and just like mixing and all that fun stuff? Yeah, so mostly, you know, I wrote, we wrote, me and my producer YX, we wrote and produced like all of the songs in like a span of like a week. So I would go and we would maybe spend time in the studio for like hours, like almost like a day on end, yeah. so 24 hours, just constantly writing. Because it was like a home studio, you can almost hear it in all of the songs because it was such a closed space and it was just me and him. So it was really, it was really like a, you kind of get like a cozy feeling from it because, yeah. you know. It's not all chaotic and stuff, but it's super yeah. like, you know. There's no, there's a really like warm feeling about it, but it's yeah. also grand and like, right. like I've listened to it a few times and every time I've listened, I've heard something new, which kind of feels like the goal. Like it's not one note, as you know, that how much music gets released nowadays, you can just yeah. listen to something. And if it doesn't immediately pique your interest, just on to the next but yeah. there's more than enough happening here that actually draws you in and it's like oh that was interesting um, right but like it left me with questions on the sound and the style and the genre because mm -hmm. I mean I want to say like it's rooted in pop 
but pop means so much and music nowadays right. isn't just pop rock or r&b so like what are you calling this how are you explaining it to people that haven't listened to you before yeah well i mean this is that was my first time doing any of that i mean i had never yeah. made a song ever sure at that time you know i was like oh like i want to make some pop music and you know obviously i classify it as pop music but you know as i continue to make music and like grow as an artist I want to get into so many different types of genre, all rooting back to pop. Yeah. And, you know, this, this first album was very like slow and, um, you know, it was, it was, it, I, I don't want to say indie pop, but it's still um, kind of, it's not definitely not like dance sure. pop. No, but definitely I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. But definitely as I'm growing, like I want to go through so many different genres that, you sure. know, not just stick to one specific one but all all under pop yeah and that's the thing is like you're obviously young and this is a new yeah. adventure you can't just decide something for yourself right now like it's it's not even that but it's just the technology that we have when, in terms of production like you can do anything you want and that's part of the fun of experimentation also the fact that you're the one putting the time and energy in it should be something that you want to listen to and put in put on in the car like not just you know you're making music for other people right. yeah yeah so yeah. what does the future look like I guess like are you the type of artist that's always working on the next thing are you going to try to expand that sound what are the plans um, like, that you can well, say I don't want to put you yeah, yeah. Much, but... I mean the next few songs and hopefully for like a while is going to be like completely different than the first okay um because it was my first you know ep like i really didn't have an exact idea yet what i really really wanted to do yeah but, like going into the new stuff like um i can tell you i have a new song that is going to be coming out called lust for life nice so as soon as that comes out get ready for that but that is like it's like disco okay. so it's like dance pop like sure. super fun you know so it's not no more of that kind of slow basic kind of even though that's great and I love it but right. um the new stuff is going to be completely different it's going to be a lot more like fun that's okay yeah. though I think that's expected because yeah. no it's like I said like first off it's what you like, but also you put this music out into the world. You get feedback on it from loved ones and friends and family. And hopefully they're not the type of people that just say, yes, that's great. And they're honest with you, but right. you can latch on to what they like and kind of, you know, craft future sound around that as long as you still enjoy it. Why not yeah. throw everything at the wall and see what sticks? Yeah, definitely. Nice. And so how did this, you know, this is sort of a broad one, but like, how did this all get started for you? Obviously, you're an independent artist. It's a newer thing. What was there like a tipping point to doing this like for real instead of just for fun? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, I started off in musical theater, so I did a lot of like school functions and, okay. you know, I sang in the choir a lot and that was yeah. like my whole thing. But I always told my parents like, I have to be something more like I would always listen to like Lady Gaga and Celine Dion and stuff and I'm like I'm gonna do that yeah one day so and my parents really didn't know what to do but one day my dad found someone on Facebook and after that I just got more and more connections to yeah. different people and that just all came about and you know I started off with no fans no followers no music no nothing and like I just grew to like so many like now we're at like I think like 90,000 like around that kind of mark yeah. Spotify like listeners and that's like insane and I'm like so Crazy. grateful for that. and that's like like I can't even fathom that because we started off with nothing and like all that hard work like really paid off so I'm really happy about that but yeah it's we've yeah we've grown a lot right and no and it's never ending and you always like have yeah. to mark the milestones and be happy about them but also look towards the future which is a whole nother beast of 
planning and marketing and it's like when you get into this you don't think that there's gonna be a business side of it it's just like i want to make music and have fun but it's become so much more of that nowadays it's kind of crazy yeah. um is there a part of the entire process that you look forward to the most maybe like even oh i don't know like starting out the song all the way to just being relieved that it's finished um i mean i really like actually picking the sounds that i like in my songs okay because i, I like really weird stuff like i like different sure. crazy yeah. like sounds and stuff so i love yeah. when a producer i can walk into a recording studio and they're like hey do you like the sound and they play like this big like sound and it's like whoa that's weird let's put it in there um so that's probably my favorite part also like just getting to like dress cool like that yeah. the whole part of business like I love fashion, so that's like totally. Like, like who doesn't want to have a professional photo shoot? That's the dream. Yeah, <laughs> that's what makes you feel like an artist. Although I do feel like anyone, any independent artist who's just like, oh, I'll just make music on my computer, and then actually going to a studio, there's no realer feeling than that. Like, oh, right. man, this is a real thing. This is what we're doing. Yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Um. Now, obviously, you're still building your discography and doing that, but have you played shows? And if you haven't, like, is it something that's in the works for you? I have not yet with this okay. uh, music, cool. but that is something that's definitely in the works so that, like, as soon as I get the opportunity from anywhere, I will definitely be on that because yeah. I'm, I'm so excited to do that. Like, we are so ready. Yeah. So, have you envisioned yeah. it? Like, what's it going to look like? What's it going to sound it's like? It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. That was, be like, that was never a word. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's going to be super big and like, it's going to be hype. It's going to be really hype. And we're going to have cool visuals and cool outfits and it'll be it'll be so cool. Sweet. Is there one song of yours that you're most looking forward to performing live for the first time? I think... Um, Either I'd either have to say November just because of the way because we already have a live track. Yeah. So the way we did November is completely different than the original. Okay. And it's when people like hear it, it'll be like, whoa. Like if you know the song really well, people will awesome. be like, whoa. Um, I think also like Beans is a really good I'm really excited for that one too, because the sure. entrance to that song is gonna be crazy nice like well maybe a set opener then to really like yeah get the energy up yeah nice yeah um and you don't have to answer here but is there an unreleased song of yours that you're most looking forward to potentially performing um i think well yeah i'd say there's a song called space cowboy okay and from the name it's gonna be pretty crazy there's gonna be Sounds a lot of cool dancing so i think i think that one is will probably be like the most fun for me to perform i think yeah. nice okay yeah. a lot in the works here i love that um even though we're in the middle of april which is kind of wild at this point because i i still feel like it's january for some reason yeah what, yeah. what are <laughs> like some major goals or just like some lofty things that you'd like to see happen by the year's end could be personal doesn't even have to be music related yeah i mean definitely like i have a big goal of um at least hitting like a million spotify listeners which i think we can do yeah definitely um but like a huge dream of mine is like performing at like madison square garden and stuff like oh man yeah millions yeah. and millions of people like that's just a goal in general I also want to like bench like 180, but um, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, obviously, Madison Square Garden would be cool, but like, imagine Madison Square Garden but you're benching on the stage. You know, it's like yeah, well that turns into be, like a bodybuilding yeah. contest. Yeah, let's I think do it. Could definitely mix the two together. <laughs> That would be, I've never seen, I've been to thousands of concerts. I've never seen a big one. <laughs> so, that's, I love it. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, now I know what to expect. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I, I have a couple more questions for you. 
I <laughs> I want to know, obviously, I want to know what you've been listening to, um, what kind of inspires you, but also is the music that you listen to, like, do you actively try to emulate it or do you avoid listening to certain music so as to not copy it? Yeah, um, well, I listen to, like, everything like if you look at my playlist it's like every single genre and like there's some really weird like just random songs in there so yeah. it's like that's definitely you know um one of my biggest inspirations is lady gaga like sure she's just you know because she's she's not just a singer she's an artist and that's kind of what i want to pursue definitely don't want to like copy anyone but having those people as an inspiration is definitely like a great thing and like I also love listening to like Doja Cat because she's sure. so entertaining like yeah. I love her um let's see I mean those two are big ones I I do also listen to Ariana Grande I think she's a great artist too like her really? performance like her music videos are really crazy and I like I, I love that yeah I mean I I hear the artists that you say and I know that their artistic vision and I hear influences and inspirations in your music but it is such a difficult thing nowadays to really like differentiate yourself everyone's making similar sounding music but I sincerely say like it does sound different it does sound original and fresh which is so difficult so difficult and that's why I really like this record um my my last question for you here is it's basically for the person that is going to discover you from this what is an opening message that you'd like to say to them before they listen to your music for the first time? Hmm, that is a good question. That's why I saved um, it for last. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's probably that you know when you listen to my music, you can hear kind of where my heart's at, and mostly that whatever I'm doing, whether like whoever it's for, whatever, you know, like I'll always put all of my passion into it. Sure. And, you know, I'll love what I do. And I think that you can really hear that in the music. And I think that, you know, it's my whole life. So I think that that people should know that when they listen so that they can really hear that. That's a great answer. You've convinced me. I'm in. <laughs> um, Grippa, I want to thank you so much for taking the time, but please let me plug your music for you one more time before we wrap up here. Um, if you guys missed it the first time around, the EP is called Is That Her? Uh, but also, we will have the links in our articles that you can listen and share and follow along and do all that fun stuff. Obviously, there's a ton more headed our way this year. New music right around the corner, so now is kind of the perfect time to pay attention. And I want to thank you so much again. This has been a great conversation. Thank you. This this was a great conversation. Thank you so right. much. You are very welcome. I hope to speak soon. And yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so awesome. much. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. You too. See you. Bye.